opportunity to give a talk here today. Um, I'm going to tell you a new exact result in two-dimensional theories and its applications. For the last couple of years, we've seen a number of remarkable success in studying strong dynamics in the supersymmetric theories in four dimensions and three dimensions using some new exact results such as sphere partition functions and superconformal index. For instance, using this uh, new exact result, we learned about the AGT correspondence, app theorems, and the precision test of the various dualities and many other things. Therefore, it's quite natural to keep pursuing a similar line of inquiry either in higher dimensional theories or lower dimensional theory, such as two dimensions. And this is what I want to present today. In particular, I'd, uh, using this new exact result, I will attack some basic problems which still remain a challenge in the two dimensional theories uh, in relation to the dynamics of string probing the Calabria manifold. So let me first uh, start with the presenting this new exact result in the two-dimensional theories, which is the two-sphere partition functions, based on those two papers. First, the supersymmetry algebra on the two-sphere is given by SU2 slash 1, which is a subalgebra of this n equal 2, 2 superconformal algebra. It contains SU2 and U1 as a bosonic subalgebra, where the SU2 is the rotational symmetry of the two spheres, and u1 is nothing but the vector u1r symmetries. However, the axial u1r symmetry is now explicitly broken on the two spheres unless the given theory preserves the conformal symmetry at the beginnings. And this SU2 slash 1 supersymmetry can be parameterized by those two killing spinners, epsilon and epsilon bar, satisfying those two killing spinner equations. So once we identify the supersymmetry algebra on the two spheres, then we need to find this SU2 slash 1 representations on the supermultiplet, and then we need to construct the supersymmetric Lagrangians on, the two, on these two spheres. In general, when we try to couple the given quantum field theory to a curved background, such as two sphere in our case, there are some ambiguities in adding some correction terms, which are suppressed uh, by the inverse of the radius of the two spheres, in this case, I, I, which I denote by L. However, by demanding the theory to preserve this SU2 slash 1 supersymmetries, one can systemat systematically determine such a correction terms by using either offset supergravity formalisms developed by Festucci and Cyborg or just simple uh, but tedious iterative method. In either way, uh, at the end, one can show that there are 1 over L corrections in the supersymmetric transformation rules and up to 1 over L square corrections in the supersymmetric Lagrangians and the two spheres. For instance, you can see such a correction terms in the following expression of the kinetic Lagrangians for the vector multiplied on the two spheres. Furthermore, one can also introduce the supersymmetric interactions on these two spheres. The first, we can in introduce the superpotential terms, which is given by this expression on the two spheres, only when the U1R charge of the superpotential is given by 2. This is because the supersymmetric algebra on the two sphere should contain a conserved UNR charge. We can also introduce the twisted superpotential term, which is given by this expression on the two spheres, and you can see there is a 1 over L correction in these expressions. So these are the supersymmetric theories on the two spheres, and I'm going to evaluate the path integral of the theories using the localization technique. So let me first briefly review what the localization technique is. So let me consider the following path integral where S is the action of the theory what we'd like to understand, which is invariant under the supersymmetric transformations. And the supercharge satisfies these relations where J is a certain bosonic symmetry of the given systems. If the term V that appears in these expressions is invariant under these bosonic symmetries, one can show that this partition function is actually independent of this parameter T, which implies that the partition function at T equal to zero it's the same as the partition function at t equal to infinities. And this is very nice because on the left-hand side, we have a theory, what we'd like to understand. It's fully quantum. It's very difficult to evaluate the path integral in general. But on the right-hand side, we have a different theory whose dynamics is now governed by this deformed actions rather than the original actions. And in the limit where, this, uh, where t goes to infinities, this deformed theory is in the semi-classical regime. Therefore, one can easily evaluate the path integral by Gaussian integral. As a consequence, the partition function of the original theories 
can be written as the following simple expressions, where phi star are nothing but the supersymmetric set of point configurations, which satisfy the equation of motion of the deformed theory. And we have this uh, classical action contribution and one of the determinant contribution around each of the set of point configurations. And this is an exact result. Then going back to the two spheres, uh, let me first present the localization scheme, what we use to compute the two-sphere partition functions using this localization technique. First, we choose a supercharged Q in this SU2 slash 1, which satisfies these relations, where J generates some rotation of the two spheres, having two fixed points at North and South Pole, and R is the U on R charge. And then, give, uh, one can, uh, given this choice of supercharge, one can show that the kinetic Lagrangians for vector, chiral, and twisted chiral multiplet, and even superpotential terms are all Q exact, which implies that these two sphere partition functions should be independent of gauge coupling constant and the parameters in the superpotentials. From this fact, one can expect that these two sphere partition functions will tell us about some physics at the infrared. Fix, uh, infrared. And we will take this kinetic Lagrangians as our Q exact deformations. So once we choose this Q, supercharged Q and the Q exact deformations, then we need to identify the supersymmetric set of points, which depends on the model what we want to study. So let me first consider this supersymmetric gauge theory. The gauge group is arbitrarily, and this theory is coupled to the chiral multiplet in any representation R. In this case, the supersymmetric set of points can be described as follows. So sigma 2 and sigma 1 are two real scalars in the vector multiplet one of which can have some arbitrarily constant value on the two-sphere, and the other should satisfy these relations where the field strength should be properly quantized, and all the other fields should vanish. Then the next step, what we have to do is to compute the one determinant around the supersymmetric set point, and we found that this one determinant are in general divergent, so we first need to regularize them to get some final result. But at the same time, we need to be very careful as some of the divergences from this one determinant, which have some physical, definite physical meaning. For instance, uh, the one determinant from the chiral multiplet of charge rho is given by this infinite product, from which we can lead rid of the following logarithmic divergence whose coefficients are universal, uh, which reflect the tra trace anomaly of the given systems. For instance, the first two terms in its coefficients reflect the, uh, the transcentral charge contributions, and the last term here is nothing but the one correction to the FI parameters. So collecting all this fact, the exact two-sphere partition functions of these two-dimensional theories can be written as the following finite-dimensional integral, where the one determinant uh, can be uh, determinant from the vector and the chiral multiplet are given by these two expressions. And from these computations, we can also read up the central charge of the given systems, which is given by these expressions, which can be nicely summarized as a trace of R, where the trace is performed of all the fermionic field. And this formula exactly agrees with what Silverstein, Witten, and Hori and Tong obtained about 10 years ago. Then let me discuss about the different type of theory in two dimensions. What is uh, this is landau ginzburg theories, which involve the twisted chiral multiplet coupled by the twisted superpotentials. In this case, the supersymmetric set of points are extremely simple. Uh, the complex color field in this twisted color multiplet can have some arbitrarily constant value on the two-sphere, and all, other all the other fields should vanish. Then one can show that the one determinant around the supersymmetric set of points are trivial in a sense that they are independent of this constant value y. As a consequence, the uh, exact two-sphere partition functions of this landau ginzburg theory can be written as the following simple ordinary integral, where the integrand depends only on the twisted superpotentials. So that's it. So these are the new exact results in the two-dimensional theories. And now we are ready to use them to attack some important problem in the two-dimensional theories. So as a first application, let me discuss about this worship instantons in the Calabria sigma models. So this Calabria sigma model has played a key role in perturbative string theory for many years, and the corresponding two-dimensional uh, gauge linear sigma model can provide it some elegant framework to study this Calabria uh, sigma models. In particular, in this GLSM approach, the keller mode lie of the given Calabria manifold can be realized as a complex phi FI parameters, 
while the complex structure moduli can be realized as a parameters in the superpotentials. And these parameters will define the space of the marginal coupling of the uh, corresponding n equal to superconformal field theory at the infrared fixed point. It is well known that uh, many physical observables in this Calabria sigma model can receive the quantum corrections, especially non perturbative quantum correction generated by this Walsh instantons. In particular, this Walsh instanton leads to the quantum corrections to the Keller moduli space of the given Calabria manifold. And for many purposes, it's quite important to know the precise metric on this Keller moduli space of the given Calabria manifold. Well, this mirror symmetry has provided some beautiful method to compute these quantum corrections in the Keller moduli space for many years. This is because in this mirror symmetry approach, the quantum corrections in the Keller moduli space can be mapped to the purely geometric and classical problem in the mirror Calabria manifold. However, bearing some exceptions, this conventional method to construct these mirror uh, descriptions can be applicable only to this complete intersection in the toric varieties, which basically allows some two-dimensional abelian GLSM descriptions. So it has to be quite demanding to find or develop some new method to compute this quantum correction in the Keller moduli space for some Calabria manifold beyond these toric varieties. And quite surprisingly, these exact two-speed partition functions turns out to provide some new and direct uh, method to compute such a quantum correction in the Keller moduli space without use of the mirror symmetry at all. More precisely, by computing this two-speed partition function of the two-dimensional theory describing some Calabria manifold, you can immediately read up the exact Keller potential K for the uh, Keller moduli space of the given Calabria manifold from these formulas. And furthermore, this exact Keller potential will define the so-called gromov witten invariant of the given Calabria manifold. This formula was first conjectured by this gentleman and works for many known examples in the literature, such as Quintic's report. And using these formulas, these people finally predicted some new result, the gromov witten invariant for some Calabria manifold whose mirror descriptions are still unknown. And you will hear a lot of more about a lot more about these formulas from this David Morrison talk right after me. Rather, <coughs> I'd, I'd like to uh, address the following questions. Why does this formula work? This question has been answered by Gomez and myself. And let me first start with the simple and easy proof of this conjecture, which, is, which can be applicable only to the Landau-Ginsburg theories. So let's consider the Landau-Ginsburg theory, which involves the twisted super, uh, which in, involves the twisted chiral multiplet coupled by this twisted superpotential, which can describe some n equal two comma two superconformal field theory at infrared fixed point. As I presented earlier, the exact two-speed partition function of this Landau-Ginsburg theory can be written as the following simple ordinary integral, and it has been shown by Chakoti about more than 20 years ago that this expression is actually nothing but the integral representations of the exact Keller potential for the moduli space of this n equal to comma two superconformal field theories. So this is the end of the proof, uh, end of the proof of this conjecture, at least for the case of the Landau-Ginsburg theories. Then let me discuss about the second proof of this conjecture for more generic cases beyond this Landau-Ginsburg theories. Uh, and this is the sketch of that proof. So here we consider some arbitrary uh, two-dimensional supersymmetric theories defined on the squash two sphere rather than the round two spheres. And we found that in order to define such a theory, we first need to turn on a suitable background gauge field coupled to the U on R symmetric current. Then using the localization technique, one can still compute the exact squash two sphere partition functions. And we found that it is actually independent of the squashing parameter B. It implies that we can deform the, uh, the round two spheres into the following infinitely long cylinders with two caps at both ends without changing the final result. And in this infinite squashing limit, one can argue that the path integral of the given theory defined on this space can be identified as a certain inner product between the very special canonical ground state of the given theory. And due to this background gauge field, this ground state is in the Raman sector. And it has been shown by Chakoti and Fafa a while ago that this particular inner product is nothing but e to the minus k, where k is the exact Keller potential for the Keller moduli space of the given Calabria manifold. 
So let me discuss uh, the second applications of this exact formula. Uh, as I presented earlier, this mirror symmetry has provided, uh, has played a key role in studying or computing this virtual instant correction in the Keller moduli space. So it's quite important to see if we can learn something new about this mirror symmetry from these two sphere partition functions. So let me so first start with the simplest example, the U1 gauge theory in two dimensions, coupled to n chiral multiplet, whose charges are given by QA satisfying these anomaly free conditions. This simple two dimensional gauge theory describes some non compact Tori Calabria manifold. In this case, thanks to Hori and Vafa, one can easily construct the mirror descriptions in terms of the Landau Ginsberg theory, which involves n twisted chiral multiplet satisfying this uh, periodicity coupled by this following uh, twisted superpotentials. Then, using this exact formula, one can compute the two sphere partition functions for those two theories, which are given by these two expressions. And using this simple Bessel function identities, one can show that these two expressions are the same. So this is another verification of Horivafa method from this two sphere partition function framework. Then let me introduce a certain superpotential W in this uh, same two-dimensional gauge theories, which can describe the compact Calabria manifold, more precisely, complete intersection in the toric varieties. In this case, however, according to this hori Fafa recipe, this mirror landau ginsberg theory seems to be unaffected by the superpotential in the GLSM. In particular, the expression of the twisted superpotential in this mirror landau ginsberg theory is not modified at all, even after you introduce the superpotential in the GLSM. However, we believe that there must be some difference between the landau ginsberg theory, a dual to, a mirror to the GLSM with and without the superpotential. And indeed, there are some subtleties in choosing a good variable to describe the mirror landau ginsberg theories. And in order to fix, uh, resolve the subtleties, people have to, uh, have to carefully look at, for instance, the period of the target space geometries, meaning we need some extra ingredient. However, uh, as you will see in a second, these two sphere partition functions can resolve the subtleties quite automatically without any extra ingredient. Uh, first, uh, due to the condition that the superpotential should carry U on R charge 2, the sum of the chiral multiplet should carry some non zero U on R charge, which I denote by QA. Then, using this log uh, exact formulas, one can compute the two sphere partition function of this GLSM with superpotential which is given by these expressions. And you can see this non-zero UNR charge dependence in these expressions. And then again, using this uh, Bessel function identities, we can rewrite that expressions into the following form, which is almost the same as what we obtained for the previous example without superpotential, except this extra factors in the measures. And this extra factors in the measures will tell us what is the good variable to describe the middle landau ginsburg theory which is given by these relations. And this Landau-Ginsberg theory, uh, Landau-Ginsberg variable chosen by this two sphere exactly agrees with the prescription known in the literatures. So this is very nice, but we wanted to do something new. And we found that this conventional method to construct the mirror descriptions uh, cannot extend to the non-abelian GLSM, which can describe the Calabria manifold beyond these toric varieties. For instance, uh, let's consider the simplest example, the UN gauge theory in two dimensions coupled to the chiral multiplet in any representation R, which can describe the complete intersection in the Grassmannian manifold rather than the toric varieties. Unfortunately, we don't know what is the mirror description. It is not clear what is the mirror description of this two-dimensional non-abelian GLSM. However, one can still compute the two-speed partition functions of this two-dimensional non-abelian GLSM and what, somehow we can manage to rewrite that expressions into the following conducive landau ginsburg form, where the twisted superpotential can be written as the following expressions, and we have an extra, extra factors in the measures, them on determinant, and this result exactly agrees with what Hori and Vafa has conjectured for the mirror descriptions of this particular non-abelian GLSM. And I think this result strongly suggests that this two-sphere partition function can provide some new idea in constructing the mirror descriptions for this non-abelian GLSM, which can describe the Calabria manifold beyond the toric varieties. So let me summarize 
So today, we saw a new exact result in the two-dimensional theories, the two-speed partition functions. And using that, we studied the quantum correction in the Kähler moduli space and the mirror symmetries for the Calabria manifold beyond the toric varieties. And as a final remark, uh, let me introduce a few interesting uh, developments along these directions. First, um, the two-speed partition function, what I presented so far, depends on the parameters in the twisted superpotential, in other words, A model data of different theories. However, by choosing a different SU2 slash 1 inside this n equal 2 comma 2 superconformal algebra, which contains this axial UN R symmetry rather than this vector UN R symmetries, one can obtain a different two-speed partition functions, which now depends on the parameters in the superpotential, meaning the B model data. Second, uh, another important observable in the two-dimensional theory is the superconformal index or elliptic genus. Of course, for the Landau-Ginsburg theory, it's done by Witten a long ago, but for the case of the GLSM, it's done very recently, a few uh, just months ago, by these two groups. Finally, using this new exact, uh, using this localization technique, one can also compute the exact hemisphere partition function of the two-dimensional theories. Uh, which will tell us about the different physics in the Calabria manifold. But I strongly believe that we just begin these explorations and there are a lot, uh, a lot more that needs to be understood. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, it's much more technical, but any comment or it's okay. some? <laughs> Yeah, with a nice uh, presentation, right? Mm. Okay, so everybody understood and then, okay. <laughs> so in this uh, two-sphere partition function, you show that the answer can be done as two decoupled hemispheres far away from each other. Can these ideas be generalized or have you thought how to generalize them in higher dimensions and do the analog of TD star in higher dimensions? Uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking of that possibility. For instance, maybe there is a way to deform the four spheres uh, in a way to keep the result un uh, unchanged. And that will uh, tell us about the TT star structures. Uh, if it works, then it will tell us about the TT star structures on the space of the marginal coupling of this n equal to superconform field theories. But I haven't done it yet. Okay, so every everybody is understood. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, okay.